Uh, again, come down here right around the eye. This is the As eye Hurricane wall. Katrina made landfall back in 2005, former WLOX chief meteorologist Mike Reeder brought the most up-to-date information on the storm, even as he and the news crew put their lives in danger. So we had uh, pretty well figured out that this was going to be a bad storm. Well, the first thing that happened was the tower went over out front, and, and we had a tower cam on it, and we saw it actually go over. Luckily, there was nobody there because we had an issue with fumes from the generator. But at that, and then the roof started coming off. Then it was, I wouldn't say mass pandemonium, but it was kind of controlled. Let's get our equipment out of here. For Mississippians, it's hard to believe that over 30 feet of this water washed ashore just 10 years ago. But many weather experts say that because of Katrina, more people are going to be alert and prepared for future storms. I think that folks shouldn't let their guards down. Uh, I know a lot of times there's a stigma, especially about tropical storms. They'll say, oh, well, it's only a tropical storm. It's not a hurricane. And that's not the right attitude to have because even tropical storms like we've seen with the one earlier this year, Erica, cause deaths. So you have to treat every storm as its own entity, give the facts out for that storm, and don't go back and compare it to anything. That's history. Let's, let's look now at what's going on and give the information there. The meteorologists at WLOX say that having a plan in place is the key to staying safe when bad weather occurs. In Biloxi, Peyton Green, Newswatch 99.